All right, just an update for you guys from the last time that I created all the content for this video and from the time which I'm putting it out, which is right now, there's been an update uh, here in the UAE. It's total lockdown all weekend from Thursday, 8 p.m. until Sunday, 6 a.m. for now. The UA is announced for no one to leave the house because they're sanitizing the whole city, all the roads and everything. So unless it's uh, an emergency, you cannot leave the house. Total lockdown. The hashtag is stay at home and I hope everyone is staying at home right now and keeping safe all right now let's get back to the video this is where it all began authorities believe the outbreak of the coronavirus can be traced back to a seafood market in wuhan the city of wuhan is at the center of this outbreak it was a case of i've never experienced this before and that's what worried me the most <laughs> I'm really scared it'll become the next SARS. Non sottovalutare questa situazione. Coronavirus. 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 I don't even know where to begin, guys. Um, it's a tough time around the world right now for everyone. I'm sure it is for you as it is for us. A really, really difficult uh, day for me today. And it all happened because of this coronavirus, COVID-19. It's so crazy. I don't even know where to begin, to be honest with you. You know, when we first heard about this virus, we thought it was uh, something that happened in Wuhan, China. A few people were getting sick and then there were some fatalities. And then we were told that it was spreading around the world and certain places. And we didn't think much of it at that time until we heard about the first case here in the UAE and that's kind of like when the scare started happening I mean I started taking some precautions at uh, the place where I was working I was wearing a mask I was cleaning stuff up I even posted a video just kind of like sanitizing the DJ booth before I started but you know just the situation just started changing the first thing that happened was you know the place where i was djing at was getting a lot more quiet than usual and then it turned to some of the places canceling some of the gigs i had because of uh, low attendance and then the next thing we knew some of the gigs that we had were being canceled i remember like one of the gigs that I was supposed to dj at number Dhabi got canceled because there was a tour the bicycle tour going on here in the uae and uh, some of the guys who were on the tour got it so they kind of like closed off that whole island and then the next thing that got canceled that i remember was ultra and this was supposed to be one of the biggest gigs of my career and I was looking forward to it so much and I just had a feeling that it wasn't gonna go ahead and it was the right thing to do for sure and then next thing you know they were canceling all the events not the clubs yet but all the other events and then the news came one day that all entertainment places nightclubs bars pubs were to shut down immediately I expected it but it was just a bit of a shock when we saw the message come out and being forwarded everywhere it also happened on the day that I was doing the official launch of my coffee shop Karak Inc so it was bittersweet I was happy about launching my new business even though it had been open for about a month or so but also sad to hear that news you know the turnout that our launch was even that great for the same reason because the scare was already out and then just Things just kept getting worse and worse. The NBA canceled all of their games because some of the players got the coronavirus. Huge celebrities around the world got it. You know, Tom Hanks and his wife, basketball players that we know. And then we're hearing in the news that it's spreading all over the world in every continent and that it's been everywhere with the exception of a couple of countries. Um, so. What's crazy is this boulevard here is usually full of people like any time of day whether it's the morning it's the evening or nighttime and there's like hardly anyone over here aside from like a couple of kids just playing I guess just getting out getting some Sun a few people on their bikes there's really no one here and all the shops are closed you can't sit in them I think you can uh, do some like takeaway but aside from that it's crazy How are you stay safe huh? yeah, stay safe good. Today I have the unfortunate duty or task to go to my barber shop, tell all my staff that they're not gonna be working for another couple of weeks for now. It's the instructions that came from the government and I think it's the right thing to do. So I'm going over there right now just to assure them that everything's gonna be okay, help them clean up and then close the doors and see what happens next. Finish everything, clean, throw out what you don't need, your area, make sure it's perfect. You leave, like you're gonna come back, it's gonna be brand new. 
All right, guys, so unfortunately the day today has come where we have to close the shop. This is uh, something that the government wants us to do, and it's definitely the right thing to do. You know, the business that we're in is a very close contact business with people. You're sitting with them very close to them, and the distance that they're asking people to have, which is about six feet, doesn't really meet the requirements. So it's really for the safety of you guys, which I was always concerned about from day one anyways. Which, you know, I always told you guys to wear the gloves and the mask even before all this happened, and then I was really insisting that you guys guys wear it uh, afterwards too and you know making sure you guys are all safe because that's really the most important thing this uh, situation that we have with this virus and all that is a very sensitive situation because you guys know it could really just you could be carrying it without knowing and it could be transmitted very easily so that's why I think it's very important that we close the shop today as well as per the directions of the government and uh, the mall management for now the important thing is that you guys are staying safe they want everyone to stay at home so try not to go out get whatever you need it's a time that we have to get through all of us together not just us the whole world make sure you guys are healthy make sure you guys are eating as good as you can make sure you guys are in high spirits you know stress is another thing that causes your immune system to go down so try not to stress too much about the situation as soon as everything's over we're gonna be back here and everything you guys are in good hands you know you guys have done great for the company and we'll make sure we return the same favor for you guys and hopefully find out how we can come back and be better than before all right guys I'll give you guys all a high five we're not allowed to do that so I'll give it to you guys when we come back all right Thanks, Thank you. you know that as of today they're canceling all dine-in uh, so no one's allowed to sit here anymore the malls are all closed as well so just be safe take care of yourself make sure you're in a good place at home as well and tell the other staff as well to be extra careful make sure you always have your gloves on make sure you always have the mask on wash your hands regularly and make sure you stay safe as much as possible all right yes, I know it's sir. a difficult time but we have to keep our spirits up and you know I know there's not a lot of people but hopefully people still want to eat and order stuff through delivery and maybe even come pick things uh, pick things up until we uh, figure out a way past this yeah yes. keep positive you always have a good smile we don't get to see it because of the mask now but <laughs> keep it up all right perfectly yes, all right. thank you So the UA started its official lockdown today. They've asked all the stores or shops that don't need to open to remain closed. Malls have been closed as well. They've asked people to stay at home unless you're going out for absolute urgent necessities. And that includes like supermarkets, pharmacies, hospitals. Police cars are also just going around town. There's a video that went viral of a police car just telling some people to stay inside. Also, one cool thing I saw was in Sharjah, they're using drones to tell people to stay inside. They have like a speaker on the drone and they're just passing on the message. Kindly stay home, avoid gathering, and stay away from everything that puts you and your family at risk. With our wishes to everyone to be safe. Airlines have been affected a lot as well. Our two main national carriers, Emirates Airlines and Etihad Airways, have announced that they've canceled all but a few flights. So it's kind of hard to get in or out of the UAE, and I think that's an important part as well to keep the borders closed. I don't think there's really any panic buying going on. Luckily, we have some great leaders in the country who have assured the people that we will not run out of any supplies and that's calmed everyone down. Even when I went to the supermarket the other day, I mean, all the shelves were stocked up aside from hand sanitizer on that day, which was not available. But now when you go in, there's plenty of hand sanitizer and rubbing alcohol available. I mean, for me, I don't really have much going on right now. You know, all my work's closed with all the DJing stuff. My businesses are pretty much shut down. Even the cafe is just open for deliveries and takeaways. But I'm just trying to keep my spirits up, you know, just trying to get through it one day at a time, spend more time at home with the family, you know, thing I never really got to do much before. How many cases we have so far in the UAE? It says that the UAE has announced 50 new cases as of today, and they have four new recoveries. So that's 50 new coronavirus cases, bring the total to 248 with 45 recoveries, and thank God no fatalities so far. Around the world, I believe it's almost at half a million cases of coronavirus. So it's absolutely important that we listen to the instructions that we're getting from the World Health Organization, from your government, to stay at home, to stay safe. I'm only out today, it's the last day, to really just help close 
close the business and kind of just, you see, I've even covered up all my stuff over here. I'm not even gonna be coming to the office unless it's absolutely urgent. It is absolutely important that we listen to the instructions. We stay at home, we stay safe, and we make sure we get through this together. Where's the ball? There's no ball here? Put the ball, come on, let's go. Come on, put it in. Yay, good job. Oh, you just hold it on there? Let's go, let's go up, go. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. One. Two. Three, go. Oh! <laughs> what color is this? Dada. What's my name, DJ? What's my name, DJ? Bless. <laughs> Look, all in all, it's not uh, going too bad in terms of staying at home because I get to spend more time with my son, which is a lot of fun. And also, I've been able to do a lot of things which I haven't done, which is organize my music library at home. Been able to go live on Instagram, which is a big thing right now. One of the DJs called D-Nice did it and went huge, and a lot of DJs are on it right now, so I've been doing some of that too. And then just, you know, doing some more TikTok videos with my wife, Danya. Is a chopper. I'm working on my production, trying to learn some more over there. And I'm back on YouTube, obviously, putting out more videos, so that's a good thing as well. And I know it's a tough time, but we do have to get through this together, and that's the only way it's really gonna work. Especially goes out to the elders, our, our parents, our grandparents, who are over the age of 60. It's especially dangerous to them. So try and avoid contact. I know it's tough, but you know, don't even hug them. Try to restrict yourself to your own household, and if you are visiting other family members, you know, keep a distance away. I know you think you may not be infected but we do not know so really just take care of the elders and the young ones especially try and stay away from them as much as possible and this is one of the like most serious advice that I've gotten. And of course, always wash your hands. Don't touch your mouth, your nose, your eyes, uh, the regular stuff that you hear everywhere else. Don't hang out in groups. Stay at home, guys. Stay home and stay safe. Only go out if you need to go out. Absolutely need to. The UAE has been great in giving us as much information as possible. They've even opened up uh, a lot of the video calling uh, apps like WhatsApp, Skype, and some of the other ones. So we're able to keep in touch with other people. And that's, I guess, the best way to do it right now. And I wish you all the best. We're in this together. I'm sending you out all the positive energy, and I hope that uh, pretty soon we will get over this. But in the meantime, stay strong, stay safe, and stay positive, all right? Peace, B-Squad. Love you all. Bye.